The Mario Sports franchise expands even further as the Mushroom Kingdom goes to court in Mario Hoops 3 on 3 for the Nintendo DS. Despite being developed by Square Enix, the game retains the franchise's wacky style with dozens of characters, environments, and items from the Mario universe. However, unlike other Mario Sports titles, the game's light single-player mode isn't evened out by accessible multiplayer. If you're thinking Mario Hoops is an accurate take on real basketball, don't. Most of the rules have been rewritten, right down to the scoring system. In order to accumulate points in a game, you collect coins and then make a basket to transfer them to your score. For every shot made, you're guaranteed 20 points. But if you grab the gold, you can earn up to 120 with a single bucket. There are no shot clocks, traveling violations, or even out of bounds. And when each shot is made, the opposing team starts with the ball at half court. Considering other Mario sports games, such as Mario Baseball, Tennis, and Golf, were able to maintain the major rules of their sport while still splashing it with Mario charm, it's a little disheartening Hoops 3 on 3 couldn't do the same. Authenticity aside, one of the best parts of Mario Hoops is its inventive use of the stylus. Most of the actions are intuitive. A simple stroke up shoots the ball on offense and jumps on defense. Using items is as easy as drawing a line in the desired direction. More advanced moves require combinations of strokes, such as the offensive spin move, which requires a downward stroke, then one in the direction you want to spin. Compared to simple button presses, the stylus commands create a more tangible experience that's ultimately more rewarding. There are character-specific special shots that require you to quickly tap out a pattern, usually the letter M, which almost guarantees extra points if you pull one off before getting hit by your opponent. These can be game breakers and add another dose of nervous excitement. The gameplay primarily suffers from poor AI. Defensively, you'll feel like you're all alone because your teammates are almost worthless. You'll quickly learn that manually guarding everyone is the best way to win because your fellow defenders can't be relied on to either steal the ball, rebound, retrieve a loose ball, or worst of all, use items. Even if they're holding a weapon, they won't do anything with it, so you're forced to switch to that player every time they accidentally collect one in order to put it to good use. Your opponents aren't much better. Mario Hoops claims to have six difficulty levels, but it seems like there's only two. The easy one will pretty much let you collect coins, steal the ball, and dunk at will. The harder one adds a little more pressure, but feels like it's cheating by making the characters run faster. The AI slip-ups don't taint the experience too much though, thanks to the creative touch controls. Mario Hoops offers four modes of play. You'll likely be spending most of your time with the tournament mode. In Mario Kart fashion, you'll compete in four tournaments broken up into the classic Mushroom, Star, Flower, and Rainbow Cups. Within each cup are at least three courts to play on, and as expected, the more you win, the more characters and courts you'll unlock for exhibition matches against the computer. Along with the clever touch controls, the 20 plus characters and 15 plus courts to unlock provide enough reasons to play through Mario Hoops. Each player has their own set of skills and each court has its own crazy hazards to avoid. In the Daisy Garden, Petey the Piranha acts as the basket, so you'll need to rely more on your outside game to score points. In Blue Cheap Sea, the game takes place underwater where everyone moves in slow motion. Square Enix's artistic influence can also be felt in a few of the characters and courts. Unfortunately, experienced players will rip through the game unlocking all the important stuff in no more than six hours. And after that, you're left to collect different balls to play with or costumes to change into. Unless you can find someone else who owns a copy of the game, you're pretty much done. And when you do find another player, they'll have to be in the room because Hoops isn't available online and can't be transferred if you only have one copy. There are two downloadable mini-games that can be played with up to four players, but both seem so gimmicky they're hardly worth mentioning. Like most Mario sports games, Mario Hoop single-player mode is very fun and very short. But this setup has worked in the past because it was countered by an addicting multiplayer experience. But 3-on-3 three three for the DS has no online play or decent downloadable content, which means you'll probably be shooting solo. 